Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, lady. How are you? I'm fine. Are you still working? No. No, not anymore. Today, <laughs> I am in my house. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay. Still day I was in, in my office. Okay, like my... yesterday. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, did you did you progress with your with the with the essay from the group? Did uh, you write something else? Actually, I was trying to to like organize the ideas, mm -hmm. the ones that we discussed yesterday. Um, I I was reviewing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I have a question. Yes. You said that we have to continue working in the same um essay. Yes. Maybe the today. Same uh -huh. And we're gonna have maybe ready today or the day after today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because exactly. we have to conclude with the the two other paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Uh, so the, the, the essay, uh, it won't be that long. Actually, it will be just introduction, the body paragraph, just one, mm -hmm. and the conclusion. And that's it. You can send it to me in like in a document to the WhatsApp group so I can check it like in a Word document or if you use like uh, Google Write, you can Google Docs, you can write it there. And you can send it, you can share the link with me and I will be checking the, the essay. But that's it. You can send it today or you can send it tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Because tomorrow we don't have classes. Yes. So, exactly. So, um, <laughs> we are going to wait just for a little bit. And we are going to listen again to the audio to the for the paragraph. And I will uh, give you some details or some information about... Uh, look, some tips, right, for writing. Actually, that's what we're going to do right now. Just some tips okay. for you to write the, the listening. Perfect. Let's see here. So it seems is uh, Marielos. How are you? Good evening, Marielos. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. And how about you? I'm great, actually. Very good. Thank you for, thank you for asking. Okay. Now, I was telling lady that today we are going to finish the, the 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 essay right we are going to okay. conclude with the paragraph so you will have like 30 minutes for you to conclude right now um i will show you some information since you arrive early we are going to listen to the audio also um again right so you can take notes and also you can compare and you can check again mm -hmm. the listening and your notes right so this is like, this is an example of the essay, right? Um, that you probably can, something similar, you can you can write something similar probably, right? Uh, for example, well, this is the, uh, yesterday's information, right? This, this is the one that you read yesterday, right? Let's see. Yes, no, this one, right? Yes, for years, people have been cutting down trees. So you have that in the WhatsApp group, so you can check it again. And then uh, we are going to check just some writing information, okay? Like the passages, like notes, how can we take notes? Like the essay, like how can we manage uh, our time to identify important information from each passage and also to use templates. Also, templates are very useful, not only for speaking, but also for writing, right? So you can, uh, it will be helpful with your organization. Let me see what time it is. Yes, I think it's eight. Uh, so I guess that people will be adding themselves in around 8.20, we are going to begin writing the essay again, right? So I will just share this information. Probably they will be able to, to see the video later. So in this essay, the one that you are writing, you need to think like a reporter, right? Because you should not include your opinion in this response. Imagine that you are a reporter describing the news. So that's how you need to write 
this essay because it's not asking for your like opinion. Like a reporter. Like a reporter, yes. Like you are just you are just going to report, right? Uh, this person is saying this, and this other person is saying this, right? So you can contrast, right? So you need to think like a reporter in this uh, essay, in the first question for the writing. There are different types of passages that you are going to find in the TOEFL, right? For example, one of them is supporting a plan, theory, or point of view. For example, the advantages of wave farms, right? Uh, so it, an example of this one would be this one, right? An alternative energy is any way of creating power. So this is telling you like a supporting plan or a theory or, or a point of view, if the advantages, right? That is good to have wave farms. Another one, uh, this is like the first, uh, the first paragraph, as you can see. And in the first paragraph, you will be able to see the main idea. This is the main idea. Wave farms, which harness the power of ocean waves to store energy have three main advantages when compared to other energy sources. So in this case, you can see that in the first paragraph, you will find the main idea in the first one. And then uh, in the beginning of the listening, right, you will find also the, the main idea for the listening, right? This is the transcript of the listening. And it says here in the reading passage, the author fails to fully explain the reality behind using wave farms as an alternative energy source. So this is the main idea of the listening. So at the end, they will ask you, right, summarize the points made in the lecture, being sure to explain how they can, they cast doubt on the specific points made in the reading passage. Pro tip, this is a tip, the listening passage in TOEFL writing task, one will always oppose the ideas in the reading. So as I was saying before, right, the listening, will have another point of view than the reading, right? It will be opposites, right? We have also possible proposing solutions to a problem. So problems with the preservation efforts of the hermit ibis, right, or ibis. So that is proposing a solution. This is a, a passage or this is an essay showing a solution about this kind of birds, right? The, the bull ibis. And this is the main idea of the passage for this one. All of this is in the first paragraph. The main idea will be in the first paragraph. It is here. Environmentalists are taking measures to preserve these birds, but they are running into three major problems. So they are going to describe three major problems in all of these, right? One problem, the second problem, and finally, you see? So the main idea is here at the end of the paragraph. And this is the listening. Uh, this is the transcript of the listening. And it will be here at the beginning, right? The reading passage, passage attacks the preservation efforts of the newly extinct hermit ibis. However, each of the issues mentioned are not nearly as problematic as they appear. So that is the main idea of the listening. It will be at the, at the beginning of the listening, right? So do not worry if you do not know about the topic. All of the information you need is in the passages. All of the information is in the reading and all of the information is in the listening. So, oh my God, I don't know about the, the ibis, the hermit ibis right now. You don't have to know about that. You just need to report. And the last kind of passage is speculating on the past. So probably some passages will talk about history, right? For example, the Rapa Nui people, right? Evidence suggests, of course, for the demise of the Rapa Nui people. And as you can see, this is the essay. And in the first paragraph, you will find the main idea. One of them is what really caused the extinction of the Rapa Nui civilization. There are a few competing theories as to why the Rapa Nui civilization disappeared. As you can see, it's here at the end of the first paragraph. You see, it will be there, the main idea of the reading. And this is the listening, right? This is the listening, the transcript, and you can find here the main idea. Okay, so although there are a bunch of scholars claiming to have solved the disappearance of the Rapa Nui people, the reality is that all theories still remain just that, theories. There has not been enough evidence to support any of the claims mentioned in the reading. So in this case, uh, they, the listening will be about this, right? That it is just theories, right? Nothing has been proven. 
pro tip, the main idea of the listening and reading passages will be stated in the beginning of the text or lecture. So it will be the, the main idea. Then you will listen to details, right? Details, 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 examples. That's it. So this is the notes that you can take, right? So first of all, the main idea. What is the main idea? Uh, this one is the main idea. Then reason, right? Reason one, reason two. These are details, right? Details, details, details. So this is a notice structure. This is for you to take uh, notes. Four tips for taking notes. Number one, the main idea is usually located in the last sentence of the first paragraph. Tip number two, the first sentence of each body paragraph is usually a reason to support the writer's stance. For example, the yellow one is the main idea. You see, this is the first paragraph and at the end, I can find the main idea. While some oppose deforestation, there are many benefits that help improve people's lives. And the one in blue, they are just uh, examples, right? Details, right? Reasons why this is supported, right? This is a reason, this is another one, this is another one, and this is another one. And the rest is just describing, right? Describing the reason. Number three, your reading notes should prepare you for the listening. Tip number four, manage your time and be sure you read the entire passage. So these are the notes. These are the notes just taken. Um, uh, the handwriting, right? And this is the same notes, but these are typed. So the main idea is deforestation, right? Deforestation, for example, in your in your case, right? In your essay, right? Benefits, easier now. Reason one, more farmland. Details, raise crops and livestock. Livestock is ganado, right? So you need to look for vocabulary. You need to look for vocabulary. Raise crops, right? The more people, the more to feed. So if we have more people, we need to feed them more, right? It helps the economy. That's what it says, the reading. It helps the economy. Number two, new residents, right? Details, investors build homes, new urban areas, and people live and work there. And reason three, forestry is important for national economy. Jobs created in paper and lumber, shutdown will mean no jobs. And popular in Brazil, Thailand, and Indonesia. So if I read all of these, this will be the main ideas, the notes that I will take, right, from this essay, right? The listening will always cast doubt on the poets made in the reading, so it will oppose the reading, right? Va a ser lo opuesto que lo que vayan a leer, lo que vayan a escuchar. These are um, the notes for the listening. The main idea, rainforest is disappearing, right? Short-term benefits ignore long-term. Reason one, Brazil 60% cut from farming. Details, right, these are the details. Reason two, benefits in the short-term, not the long-term. These are the details, why, right? And the reason three, rainforest located in the devel developing nations, right? These are the details. So you can see that I have three reasons already there. This is for you to practice. You need to keep practicing, right? You're not going to do this right now. I understand that. But these are examples that you can take for you to keep practicing. So I have my notes, right? The reading and the listening. Now I can start writing. I have my notes. I can start writing. I will write about this. I will write about this. I will write about this, okay? Time management. You will have around 20 minutes in the in the test, in the TOEFL test, right? To write your essay. Right now, I will give you 30 minutes to write three paragraphs because I believe that you haven't finished. Si no terminan el, el, el essay, el ensayo, no importa. Solo lo que hayan escrito, eso pueden mandar, okay? No worries about that because we are practicing. Estamos practicando. So in the TOEFL test, ya en, el, en la prueba de verdad, Zero to two minutes to gather your notes and outline the essay. You can practice in managing your time. This is just a recommendation. Three to five, write your introduction. Six to 16, write your body paragraphs, two or three. 17 to 18, write your conclusion. And 19 to 20, edit your essay, right? So this is the structure, right? This is a template for the introduction. Este es un ejemplo de la introducción. 
For example, I can start writing, the article introduces the topic of deforestation, which is the clearing and cutting down of the trees in a large area. The writer says, el escritor, o sea, lo que yo leí, ¿verdad? The writer says, there are many benefits to deforestation. The lecturer, the listening, right, disagrees. He says that deforestation has many consequences and attacks each of the claims made in the reading. So that is the introduction, you see? The introduction. Now this is the body paragraph, the one that I'm asking you, right? So you can introduce the author, state the speaker in the listening disagrees and explain why the lecturer disagrees. So you can provide examples, right? First, the author says this, the reading passage states this. What they say, what do they say? You need to write that, right? The professor believes there are flaws in the author's position and so on, okay? You need to provide examples, why they oppose. And this is the... This you can see here, uh, the introduction, right? These are the notes and I can start writing according to the notes, right? And this is the, well, this is the, 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 the next paragraph, right? Pro tip, you should have more information from the listening passage than the reading. This is just a recommendation, right? As a general rule, include one sentence from the reading and two from the listening in each paragraph. But this is just a recommendation. You can um, start writing like 50 and 50, right? 50 from the uh, listening and 50 from, from the reading. This is just an example. And the one in yellow is from the reading and the one in blue is from the listening. This is from the passage, right? So this is information from the reading and the blue one is information from the listening. Okay, uh, the conclusion is optional, but it's like, for example, this last sentence, right? As you can see, the author and lecturer hold very different views on deforestation. It's optional because um, it's not that important as writing the, the, the beginning or the body paragraph in the introduction, but it's kind of weird not to have a conclusion, right? So as you can see, you can um, use this kind of uh, sentence, right, to sum up. Both the author and the lecturer hold conflicting views about this, or as you can see, or to sum up, right? You can find or you can write these kind of sentences. And this is the template, the body template integrated. This is the body paragraph. So these are some examples or these are some phrases that you can use, right? He suggests the speaker holds that. He goes on to say that the lecturer, however, disagrees. So this is just examples on how you can oppose the ideas, you see? And this is the essay structure, introduction, body, and conclusion, you see? This is what I want, just one paragraph for the introduction, the body, and the conclusion, that's it. You want to spend as much time as possible editing your essay. Since there is no spell check, you will have some spelling formatting and grammatical mistakes. Remember that in the TOEFL test, you won't have anybody to tell you if it is correct or not, or if you are writing, right? If you are typing, nobody will, it, that, that won't be like Word or, or any other program, right? So in the writing section, that's it. Uh, that is the integrated writing and the independent writing. In the integrated writing, you will have 20 minutes and the independent writing, you will have 30 minutes. And that's it. This will be like the independent question, right? So we are going to work on the independent question on Thursday. Mañana no hay classes, tomorrow no classes, right? Independent question, we are going to begin on Thursday and we are going to finish on Friday. Question about this. Preguntas acerca de del ensayo, de what, what, the tips that I gave you right now. It's sure is possible that uh... You can share this uh, material for us. Yes, I will share the material. Yes, no problem. After the class. <laughs> After the class, right? After, but well, if right I share, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if I share, if I share the material uh, after the class, uh, you will see all the. I mean, yeah, I can do it, right? But you will see all the information that I that I have here. But if you want to, I can share it after the class, and you can check it tomorrow, right? You have vacation tomorrow, or are you going to work? 
Oh, we're oh. gonna have extra time, and that is the the purpose to start be like updating with the with the writing. Yes. So I will share it today or tomorrow, so you can you can check the recommendations. Okay. Uh, anyways, I will explain it to you. Right, I will explain I it to you. Have a question. Yes. What is the the topic for for the ensayo? For the essay, um, we are going to. I, I already shared it in the WhatsApp group. This is the the topic. Like, let's see here. Is at the beginning. It's a lot of information. I'm sorry. This one you have to read. Um, this, and then you have to listen, right? Listen. So you have to this this uh, uh this information. I already share it, right? in the WhatsApp group. It's about cutting down trees, cleaning large areas, that's it. And I will play the listening again today in a couple of minutes. Just, I will share just a little bit of information about writing tips. So les voy a compartir un par de tips. But this is about the integrated, yes. Okay. The first tip for the essay, remember, uh, keep your verbs tense simple. Use the simple present, okay? When you're talking about the author or the lecturer, simple present, okay? If you want to, it's just an advice. Simple past, you can use it also. You can use uh, present continuous, you can use present perfect, you can use all of them, right? But uh, in this case, it's clearer, I guess, and it's simpler. So if you want to, you use... You can use only uh, the simple tense. You can see here that it's just a simple tense. Says, believes, contends. He goes on to say that there are advanced. So he states. In here, we have a lot of tenses, right? So we can see that it's kind of different. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to understand an idea like that. But you can use the present perfect, uh, present continuous if you want to. Know that there will be times where you might need a conditional sentence or other verb tense. However, in general, there are these are the verb tenses you will use most of the time. So try to use one of the tenses, right? For example, this is um, only present, present tense, right? Simple present. So you can use the simple present when talking about your reasons or your opinion. That will be also in the independent, right? But we will talk about the independent tomorrow, okay? Independent question. And the conditional. You can use conditionals also, no problem. And also try to um, check your spelling, right? Sometimes here, if you can see, you cannot notice the mistakes. But here you have a lot of mistakes, right? Secondly, comma, robots, right? Well, and this is missing space. John, right? With capital letter, right? John, my friend, right? Capital. So a lot of mistakes here. But the most important uh, thing is that you have to be confident with the writing topics. So I'm going to, st to stop here. Uh, it says, do not worry if you do not know about the topic for writing tasks. One, everything you need to know is included in the passages. Remember that everything is in the passages. Tomorrow I will write, uh, I will talk, well, not tomorrow, but on Thursday, I will talk a little bit more about templates. And also you can check the information. So um, we are going to listen to the audio again. Let me see. I have Marielos, Lady, Sarah, Miguel, Irena, Maritza, and Nelsi. So we are going to have the two groups. Vamos a formar los dos grupos siempre. This is the independent writing. And this is the integrated. This is an example. This is the example of the integrated writing, right? That I want you to, uh, to write right now. Este es un ejemplo de cómo, cómo quedaría el, el ensayo, ¿verdad? For example, just uh, the introduction the one of the body paragraphs and the conclusion. Solo tres párrafos quiero. No quiero cuatro, cinco, seis, solo tres. Only three paragraphs. So as you can see, it says the article introduces the topic of deforestation, which is the clearing and cutting down of trees in a large area. 
the writer says, there are many benefits to deforestation. The lecturer disagrees. He says that deforestation has many consequences and attacks each of the claims made by the reading. So this is an introduction. You can have an example here. So we are going, if you want to, you can read again. You have the, the reading there. And I will play the, the, the listening one more time. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, no questions, right? Okay, no. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ready. As always, yes, I, as always I arrive late, teacher, but I will try to understand and to incorporate myself. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank so you. I will I will share also this information. Let me see here. Because this also is part of the list, the, the reading, right? The reading. This is for you to finish the reading. So I will share this information also here. And I will play the listening right now. It's not considered your land referred. Okay, let's see. What about? Okay. Now listen to part of a lecture on the same topic you just read about. Many of the areas of cleared land referred to in the reading were once part of rainforests, and this unique ecosystem is in danger of disappearing because of deforestation. Even though there might be some short-term benefits for us today, the author of the reading has not considered the long-term consequences of these reckless actions. In Brazil alone, nearly 60% of the rainforest has been cut for farming purposes. Even though it's true that the population is rising and there is a demand for more food, there are also alternative ways to farm that do not require such vast areas of land. Hydroponics, for example, is one farming technique that actually requires no soil at all. All the progress humanity has made in technology should not be focused on how to destroy more in less time, but on how to preserve what we have while looking at alternatives to outdated practices like traditional farming. Secondly, while it might be lucrative for a few people to make a lot of money on new residential developments, increases in short-term economic prosperity shouldn't be our main concern when considering whether or not to destroy an entire ecosystem. Deforestation displaces all the animals, insects, and plants that live in a forested area. And more importantly, 28% of the world's oxygen is produced from rainforest ecosystems. That's right, so we cannot be so irresponsible to clear away huge areas of precious rainforest just to make more money Finally, notice how the countries mentioned in the reading, Brazil, Thailand, and Indonesia, are all developing nations. The workers in the woodcutting industry are paid low wages to carry out dangerous jobs. The woodcutting business doesn't benefit the people, but the small group of business owners who organize these projects. Now, answer the question. Summarize the points made in the lecture being sure to explain how they cast doubt on the specific points made in the reading passage. You have 20 minutes to write. Okay, perfect. Now you need to finish the essay, okay? I will share the rest of the information for um, the essay and we are going to stop writing. We are going to work with the same groups, okay? With the same people that we were uh, working before. So let me see here. Sorry. Okay, now in the group number one, we have Katy, Lady, Marielos, and Sergio. In group number two, we have Irena, Juan Jose, Myra, and Miguel. Okay, so we didn't we don't have we didn't have Sarah uh, yesterday, so we can we have Irena, we have Maritza, we have Miguel, we have Nelsie, we have Lady, we have Marielos. So there are some people missing, right? So let's see here. 
instead of Sergio, we are going to add Nelsie. Nelsie and also Sarah, okay? Sarah to group number two and Nelsie group number one. I guess that- Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, yes, no problem. So try to finish um, the, the okay. essay and I try to do it as soon as possible. I will create the groups right now. So in group number one will be um, Kathy. Let's see, Kathy's not here. It's going to be Lady also. Marielos, Nelsie. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, okay. And group number two, Irena, Maritza, Miguel, and Sarah. Okay, you can join right now. And I will be checking. Okay, if you have any question, I will be checking the information with you, okay? housing, agriculture, land farm, etc. And we also write these kind of activities produce negative effects in the forest. Do you remember, Mariela, we were, we were mentioned this? Yes, I remember that, but um, I was confused about uh, the essay because um, I, I wrote some ideas. Um, some ideas. Yes, yeah, some paragraph, but uh, like an uh, article, no, like a report. No, uh, uh, I didn't mention about the author, or about the teacher, or about the, the listening or reading. Mm -hmm. uh, only like an article, no, like a report. But I write. I'm going to write now, uh, like a report. Remember that the the structure is an essay. Um, as the teacher was explaining in the class, we have to have a four paragraph. The introduction, yeah. uh, the two body paragraphs. The teacher is saying that we can share the screen right now. Okay. I guess yes. if we can share the screen, it's kind of easy because we can be like joining ideas and at the same time, 
like typing or reading and giving like a, a better instruction to the parent. Okay. I don't know if you okay. want, I'm gonna try to share my screen and to write the paragraphs or the ideas that we wrote yesterday or that we discussed. Okay. I don't know, I don't know, Mariela, do you know if at the end we, we're gonna have like an individual essence, but now we are working groups. Okay. Okay. About the information. Information. I don't know if you, if you can to see. We have to write some, um, sorry, but I'm very confused. I have to, to we have to write uh, some ideas about the paragraph. An essay. Yes. Um, uh, it's confused to, to listen because, uh, because the nice. Okay. Yes. Uh, Tenemos yes. que escribir ideas acerca de lo que escuchamos acerca de este párrafo, ¿verdad? Yes, is um, the the essay uh, we have to write about the um, the reading about the reading. And about the listening, the, the reading is mm. uh, the listening is the opposite about the reading, and we have to contrast the ideas. Mm, okay. Okay. Thank you. The teacher said you can share this. Out. These are the notes that we discussed yesterday. One of the reasons. Are you able to see the screen? Yes. Um, if you okay. want, Maria, uh, you can continue like uh, at the time that I am writing to mention. Uh, what are the, the ideas that you were writing? If okay. you want, at the time that I am writing, the, uh, I, I confuse. <laughs> yes, yes, because I, I can listen, I can concentrate because the, the, the noise, I don't. The noise is distracting you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to understand. <laughs> I'm going to try to do something. Well, as many people are concerned about the presentation, one of the reasons to practice the presentation is for the ease, for the ease of human activities. Okay, do you remember that the have the article says about about the population population increase mm -hmm. and, and about the deforestation uh, the 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 lecture um, uh, mentioned about uh, the population increase uh, brings bring, uh, Deforestation because people uh, need to housing, uh, need to cut, cut, cut trees because they need to build homes and make, make furniture or another item, items, items. Um, and but a uh, the lecture mentioned um, an, uh, an advantage about the uh, about the, the deforestation because um, when they cut the trees, um, they they have have 
farmlands to to crop to crop Send to who is here? Okay. Mayra is here. Are you uh, there, Mayra? No. No, uh, no. only Sara, Irena. You. I'm here. Jo Irena. I'm here. Uh -huh. Joseph, if you have questions, I'm here, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But you I can keep working. Question. You can keep working, okay? No problem. Okay. Oh, thank you, teacher. But do you make, make us feel nervous, teacher? Why? Because we don't know what can we do with this one. Just yes, Nancy, because right? I didn't have idea, go teacher. Uh huh. What is the what is the word the the homework? I don't know. Yeah, the homework was uh, about this. Like this was the yesterday we started with this. I don't know if your classmates already uh, told you. Ya le dijeron a ella, ¿verdad? Más o menos, teacher. Okay, perfect. So in this case, what you had to do, I just share this information with you. This, it's in the WhatsApp group and it's also in, in the presentation, okay? So you will have the presentation, or I guess you already have it. So you have to read this. So I gave you some minutes yesterday to read this, right? For years, people have been cutting down trees. So it's about deforestation, right? Benefits. So this reading is about benefits, about deforestation. Then we have a, a second paragraph uh, talking about uh, large areas, livestock, ganado. Why is good deforestation? It's saying that it's good, right? We have examples here. Then in the next one, we have more information, another paragraph and the conclusion, right? It says that countries like in Brazil, Thailand, Indonesia, there is a large percentage of population who rely on deforestation as a source of income. So it's good because they earn money by deforestation. There is a large percentage in these countries. So the paragraph okay. is talking about deforestation. And the listening is talking about that deforestation is bad. So I played a few minutes ago, I played this listening, right? And you mm -hmm. listen to that. So you have to take notes. You had to take notes. Tenían que tomar nota. Mm -hmm. Ya tomando esas notas, tenían que tomar notas de esto. You have to take notes about the listening and the writing. All group of business owners okay. who organize these projects. So in this case, uh, with those now, notes. Answer the question. Sorry. Summarize with, the points made in the with lecture. With those notes, what you have to do to is just to a uh, create an essay. Van a crear un ensayo, an essay. Three paragraphs. Introduction, body, and conclusion. Right? I have an example here. Tengo, ya le había enseñado al principio de la clase un ejemplo. I okay. guess I have it here. I, so this is the paragraph I, that I want, something like this. It says, the article introduces the topic of deforestation. What is deforestation? Which is the clearing of cutting down the trees in a large area. Y entonces ahí van a comparar. You are going to compare the two ideas, the writer and the listening. The writer says that there are many benefits to deforestation. The lecturer disagrees. He says that the deforestation has many consequences and attacks each of the claims made in the reading. So this is the introduction. Then you need to write another paragraph contrasting or opposing the ideas and then the conclusion. This is an example. This is an example. So you have to write, you need to write something similar to this. Algo similar a esto. 
and you have approximately 15 minutes to do that. <laughs> so hurry okay. up. <laughs> okay. okay. Whatever people. you have, whatever you have as a group, uh, send it, okay? No problem. Whatever okay. you have. But I have, okay. I'm, I am here if you have questions. I'm here. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And then people. Okay. I can yeah. share my screen if you want. I'm going to begin typing and we can change ideas or we can make a, a combining ideas or something to, okay. to say something. Okay. Repar, repar the word because it's, it's a lot of for, uh, how do you say, the, ponernos de acuerdo, I don't know. Because we I agree. repart the work. Oh, <laughs> you disagree in in four person in in one part of. Well, if, if you want, I can uh, try to make the introduction. And me the know. introduction. Mm, no, no, to oh. write because we have to make something okay. similar that that for the example, right? Okay. But I will something. I will do something uh, short. No, no better. Uh, not large. Not okay. too long. Uh huh. Not too long. And if you want, you can write ideas about the body. Because if you have the the example, Marisa, do you have the example? I have the, the example only only the, in the chat, right? Okay. And I have the, the paragraph one and the and the and, 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 the, and second. The, the second. And do you have the one that the teacher show us? No, that's okay. that I don't have it. And I don't remember uh, the, the, the 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 tape the 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 second. El, el, La que estaba listening, the listening. Mm -hmm. I don't oh. remember too much, but we can only include on the the, the this one, just to to send something. Okay. Okay, I remember about the the listening that uh, they are disagree because few people make a lot of money for the sports session, but just few people is not uh, a benefit for all the people. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I get it and I write uh, and I wrote is that the deforestation displacement okay. You have the options there? I don't know why. When you start sharing, then it says ending or something like that. Ending sharing a screen. It's not I don't have an option. I don't know. I, I don't know how finish the share the screen. I I push and only new share set. Tell me, okay. Ah, oh, stop. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Uh, stop okay, sharing. Thanks. Okay. I was confused. This. Don't worry. It's the first time that I do it. Too. Yes. Okay. 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 I was confused about the, the about this report. I how to to begin again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because I was confused. But uh, when I was sharing my screen, I have a yes, you, you have an idea. Yes. Okay. So, but, uh, but I am trying to understand. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, Nelsie. You have to to um, watch the class yesterday. The class we have yesterday, we had yesterday, because we have. The explanation there and teacher <laughs> explained again this okay. in this class did you, did you finish the essay already no 
No. Teacher, I, I, I wrote an essay, but I, I think okay. that it was an essay, but, but I didn't understand yesterday. Teacher, it's kind of difficult because first of all, um, mm -hmm. if we don't have clear what we have to do, uh, mm -hmm. it's not possible to join the ideas or to start thinking. Exactly, exactly. So uh, that's, I don't know. that's, that's I what I was still, going to ask I you. Still, have the question uh -huh. we're gonna present individual no I as, want a it group? as a group exactly because that's the reason why you are presenting it as a, you are working as a group and i was going to ask you that if you if you feel better working individually because probably next question can be individually right this one was mm -hmm. as a group next question uh individually right okay. it will be better for you I guess, yes, because it's kind of hard to be like joining all the ideas. Okay, okay, I understand, exactly, I understand. So we are going to finish uh, this, if it is possible today, if it is not possible, it's okay, we are going to do it individually. Uh, I will explain Nelsie, okay? I will explain Nelsie uh -huh. what we were doing. Okay, so probably if you have any question, probably we are doing question one, okay, Nelsie? Uh, question one is about summarizing a lecture. So according to this, you are going to read something. For example, this right? for years, blah, 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 blah. And it's about deforestation, okay? This reading is saying that deforestation is good. Deforestation is good because the new technology and it, it ha we have more examples here. It, it's about population. It produces food enough for people, right? And then we have other two paragraphs, right? Secondly, it's about uh, mentioned the population is rising. And it says Brazil, Thailand, and Indonesia, they they live with uh, this deforestation, right? And, and a lot of people, they live out of, it's a, a source of income, this kind of deforestation. So the reading is saying that deforestation is good, right? Then we listen to um, a lecture. Escuchamos una clase. The, the lecture, it's one minute or two minutes, but he's saying that deforestation is bad, right? Deforestation is bad because it's a long-term, it's bad, it will be damaged all of the people, right? So I tell you, now you have to write an essay. You need to uh, write about what you listen and read right so if the reading is saying that deforestation is good and in the listening is saying that deforestation is bad that's what you are going to write oh the the reading or the the, the reading is saying or the person in the reading is saying that um deforestation is good because many countries have uh income from deforestation right and also they they food right they, they they plan food or the economy right they increase the economy but in the listening uh, or in the lecture is saying that deforestation is bad because of this and that and that so you need to listen to it and you need to write notes okay and then you need to that's the that's the essay right that's the essay that you need to write that's the activity I show at the beginning of the of the class um, an example, right? An example. This is an example. Este es el ejemplo de cómo debe de quedar o cómo les debe de quedar en el en el en el TOEFL test. This is an example. But I just I just need three three paragraphs. Solo necesito tres paragraphs. Introduction, body, and conclusion, right? As you can see here, it's saying or it's opposing the ideas, right? It says the article introduces the topic of deforestation, which is the clearing and cutting down of trees in a large area. The writer says there are many benefits of deforestation. The lecturer, it means the listening, disagrees. He says that deforestation has many consequences and attacks each of the claims made in the reading. And then you start providing example, 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 details. And at the end, you finish, right? As you can see, the author and lecturer hold very different views on deforestation. And that's it. <laughs> see? That's it. Okay, teacher, it's more, more clear. 
It just <laughs> said, I, but I, 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 I understand that the, the reading is different than the listening, and I have to make mm -hmm. the principal ideas and to make an order to the, the yeah, introduction, to the body, and mm -hmm. in the conclusion. Yes. And give me my opinion to contrast. Not your, op not your opinion, your, not your opinion, but you need to contrast what you hear mm -hmm. and what you read. What is saying, what is mm -hmm. reading. That's it. That's it. That is the, the activity. And I thought that you working mm -hmm. in groups, it was going to be easy, but I see that it's kind of difficult because you have a lot of ideas and doubts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, yeah. teacher, I, I didn't understand. Yesterday. You didn't understand? <laughs> you didn't, uh, you need to ask, you need to ask. I, I, I wrote some some words about like an article, not a, like, like an essay. Uh, no, because... it's an essay. <laughs> yes, but I, I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. Okay, yeah. so if you have because a question, uh, you have to ask. You only me. have um only have to to write a report, uh, combined ideas. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh -huh. I understand now, but not just... yesterday. <laughs> okay, so we are going to come back then. Because you share ideas, I guess, right? That that was helpful in a way. But we are going to to come back and we are going to provide new 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 directions. Okay. So okay. just allow me one moment, please, then. Okay. okay sorry, thanks. sorry. Thanks a lot, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem, thanks, no teacher. Thanks no problem. a lot. Okay, teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, Marielos, Nelsi, Lady. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest mm -hmm. because they haven't joined. So uh, you didn't finish, <laughs> obviously you didn't finish the, the essay, right? <laughs> right so, no, teacher. <laughs> okay, I understand now. Okay, no problem. I, I already shared the presentation with you so you can review it, you can check it tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow is a holiday if you have time. You can check. I already shared with you. Thank you for coming back, Nelsie. We Marisa. have to make time, teacher. Yes, exactly. Thank you for coming back, Miguel. Uh, let's see, uh, Irena, did you finish the the essay? Yes or no? So-so, uh, yes. So-so, <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because the other group, they, they were they were struggling we a lot yes they were struggling they had a lot of ideas and also the the um, uh it was not clear for them what they have to do sorry for that but now uh do you have any question do you have any any doubt about what you are going to do tienen alguna duda no i'm clear now teacher. it's clear okay perfect yeah. that's what I, if you have any question please uh let me know teacher i didn't understand that or i didn't understand what you were saying we are going to do this or we are going to do that right are you trying uh, do you want to like an essay what do you want right mm -hmm. and so ask me right ask me teacher so, maybe the problem was that uh as mariello mentions mm -hmm. uh she never have wrote an essay so maybe she, yes. she doesn't know what is the structure? And I was explaining to her that it's, this is a form of writing. Exactly, it's a form of writing. So we're going to do something, okay? It will be more work for me, but no problem, but it will be more work for you also, okay? <laughs> so okay. we're going to do something. Okay. We're going to do something. Write an essay, a short essay. You, yourselves, alone, right? Alone. No, no groups, no groups anymore. So write your essay. I already explained to you uh what is the activity about you have the information i already shared the information in the whatsapp group you have all the presentation 
and you have the links for the listening and for mm -hmm. the reading. So oh. tomorrow you write uh, an essay, right? About the deforestation, right? It's gonna be the same topic. The same topic, the same. So it's about okay. deforestation. Is good or bad, right? So write an essay and I will check the essays and on Thursday, I will give you feedback. And we are going to, but write the essay and you can send it okay. as a document in the WhatsApp group, okay? And that's mm -hmm. it. And okay. also you can start, since you already have the presentation, you can start working in uh, the second essay, right? It's really simple. I will explain the second essay, right? Actually, it's just this second essay is not asking you what you understand or what you know. It's, it's asking you your opinion, okay? And it's here. I will show it to you right now. Son dos ensayos, ¿verdad? Los que van a escribir. El primero es de la pre pregunta uno de la deforestación. Y el segundo es de la pregunta dos. The second one is from question number two. Okay, it's about your opinion. And this is question number two. This is question number two, okay? And number 15. So you are going to write an essay. You can, you can start working tomorrow if you want to write about this. Health and wellness is growing a concern for a number of people across the globe. Some people believe a well-balanced diet and exercise routine is the best way to stay healthy. Others suggest that good health has less to do with what you eat and more to do with how you live. In other words, maintaining positive relationships with friends and family is a better way to remain healthy. Which opinion do you agree with? And you are going to write an essay about that, okay? So you can start working about that also. And we are going to work mainly in this in this uh, question on Thursday. And Friday. I okay. guess the, the, the second essay is, uh, is going to be easier also because we're going to state our opinion. Uh, it's it, it has pros and cons, right? Because in this one, you have to provide a lot of information from your head, right? You need to provide mm -hmm. a lot of examples from you. But in the first essay, you already have all the information. All the information. You already have, you just need to order it and that's it. So it has pros and cons, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, try to work on that. You already have all the information you need and we are going to check in on Thursday, okay? Tomorrow, no classes. Mañana no hay clases, así que obtienen tiempo para trabajar, okay? Okay, okay thank you, Sorry teacher. for the confusion okay. and I will see you on Thursday, okay? In thank this you. moment, start the party. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice evening. Bye. 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 Good night. 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 Good night.